Okay, I will make Mr. Ahrar co-host so he can. Okay, you can do it, Mr. Ahrar. Juda Khamiyasha, Assalamu Alaikum. Jim, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Assalamu Alaikum. Ryan. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Assalamu Alaikum. Good night. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Assalamu alaikum, Elise. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum, Dunya. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum, Zak. Wa. Wa alaikum. Yeah, you can. Can you read it? Wa alaikum. I don't think. Wa alaikum. Assalam. Assalam. Assalamu alaikum, Evelyn. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum, Ahrar. Wa alaikum assalam. Khush kelib siz. Bugungi Uzbek tili darsimizga khush kelib siz. Keling, sizlar bilan Uzbekiston haqida o'rganamiz va Uzbek tilida gapirishga harakat qilamiz. Let's do a little icebreaker activity, okay? So I know some of you do not speak in Uzbek, that's okay. For those of you who speak Uzbek, want to practice, don't be shy. That's the place you can make a mistake. Nobody will be laughing. So just tell us what you think about Uzbekistan. Siz Uzbekistan haqida nima bilasiz? Yoki Uzbekistanda bo'lgan misiz? Nima uchun? Uzbek tilini o'rganmoqchisiz. Okay? And for those of you who don't speak Uzbek, what is one thing that makes you smile when you hear anything about Uzbekistan, Uzbeks, or the Uzbek language? Let's start. Anyone? Iltimos, boshlang. Um, Uzbekistan... Um... Osio da joylashgan. Juda ham yaxshi, juda ham yaxshi. O'zbekiston O'rta Osiyoda joylashgan. Mhm. Yana kim? Qanaqa ma'lumotlarni biladi? Siz O'zbekiston haqida nima bilasiz? What do you know about Uzbekistan? Or O'zbekistonda bo'lganmisiz? Have you been to Uzbekistan? Nima uchun o'zbek tilini o'rganmoqchisiz? Why? Are you willing to learn Uzbek? Why Uzbek language? Why the Uzbek language? What is one thing that makes you smile when you hear or know or learn about Uzbekistan, Uzbeks, or the Uzbek language? Please, Iltamas. Uzbeklar juda mehmandos xalq Yes, excellent. Uzbeklar juda ham mehmandos dirlar. Or mehman dost halkdir. Juda ham yaxshi. Rahmat gunay. Uzbekistonda kim bo'lgan? Uzbekistonda kim bo'lgan? Uzbekistonda bo'lganmisiz? Men. Men Uzbekistonda bo'lganman. O'zbekistonning qayerida bo'lgansiz? O'zbekistonning qayerida bo'lgansiz yoki qaysi shahrida bo'lgansiz? Qaysi shahrida bo'lgansiz? Samarqandda, Namanganda, Toshkentda. Um, yashaganman. Juda ham yaxshi. Juda ham yaxshi. O'zbekistonga bormoqchimisiz? Uzbekistonga bormoqchimisiz? Uzbekistonga bormoqchiman. Juda ham yaxshi. Anyone else? What is one thing that makes you smile when you hear anything about Uzbekistan, Uzbeks, and the Uzbek language? In English? Yes, you're welcome. Um... The people are so nice, <laughs> and food is great as well. Um, so the bread, tea, um, shashlik, 
Shashli, kebab. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I love going to um, Chorsu Bazaar oh, also in Tashkent. Chorsu Bazaar, wow. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think, but my favorite thing is the uh, Suzanne. Suzanne, yeah. Blast is my mini uyum da ham, Suzanne Boz. Mini uyum da ham, Suzanne Boz. Let me just show you here. Just a little tour about my house. You can see why Wyoming people love to come to my house and eat pho. Bus, Wyoming da, Professor Larblan, va, mini kaderli okochilaramlan, judaham ko, uzbik taumlarane, shiramas. Mini uyum da, min, I collect dupa, min, dupa larne, judaham yashkuraman, va uzbikistani, harbor viloyatadan, dupa larbor. Harbor Beloyat. Beloyat, we don't have in America. Um, it will be. Province. Oh, yeah, from, like a province. <laughs> Thank you. So, from each uh, Beloyat, we have Dope. So, I collect Dope. So, I brought to the United States with me. And also, Mian, Doirana, Judaham Yashikuraman. Uzbek, Doirasana, Juda Yashikuraman. Elise. Sizning ham uyingizda adresdan tikilgan Aha, um what is that? Zanaryska. Parda curtain. Parda. Parda bor, juda ham chiroylik ekan. Adresdanmi yoki atlasdanmi? Sizning uyingizdagi parda atlasdanmi, adresdanmi? Adras dan. Adras dan. Adras and atlas are the material we produce in Uzbekistan. Atlas is very silk. It's very thin. You can, you know, touch it. You can feel it. Adras is more harder to touch and feel it. When you travel to Uzbekistan, please go to Margilan. It's in Fergana. Margilan, Shahrada. Judaham, Chiroili. We have factory that they produce atlas and adras. Okay. Next one. Who wants to share one thing that makes you smile when you hear anything about Uzbekistan, Uzbeks, and the Uzbek language? Ash hakida oila ganim da tabasa kilaman. Oder saham ash odersen. Oder saham ash odersen. Ryan, you make me always smile. Um, Juda ham yaxshi. Siz osh haqida blog yozgansiz, to'g'rimi? Siz osh haqida o'z fikringizni blogda qoldirgansiz, to'g'rimi? To'g'ri, to'g'ri. Juda ham yaxshi. Qaysi viloyatda osh yegansiz, Ryan? Qaysi viloyatlarda osh yegansiz? Barcha, lekin Mening sevimli Tashkent osh ni yaxshi ko'raman va chayxana osh ni yaxshi ko'raman. Ryan bilasizmi, men hech qachon choyxonadan osh yemaganman. Men hech qachon, ha-ha, faqatgina o'zimning uyimda pishirilgan osh yeganman. Um, I think there is a reason for that, right? Mr. Akhrar can explain. Albatta. Ishtirokchilar, u odatda choyxonalarga O'zbekistonda faqatgina erkak kishilar borishadi. Ayollar choyxonaga borishmaydi. Erkaklar choyxonaga ayollardan qochib borishadi, bemalol dam olishligi uchun. 
So yeah, if I translate it into a little bit in English, and give you an explanation. Chaihana is a place where all men gather without any woman. Usually we run off, uh, run out of, uh, run from the women in order to get some rest from from them in Chaihana. So women are not allowed there. <laughs> it's like so kind of a little bit discrimination. But now we are creating a lot of Chaihanas for tourism. For tourists, women and men, they can they can come and feel the uh, Chaihana. It's like tea place for men. It's like men gossip place. <laughs> yes, actually, Ryan knows this word. Ryan, gap na madiana, gap na madiana. Yeah, I know a gap. <laughs> what is gap? Can you explain mm. to us? Yeah, so it's kind of like a party that men come together and, uh, but it's more than that because they each give money and then uh, someone at the end will take all this money as well. Uh, and so it's an, it's an important event uh, locally for men as well. That, and it usually takes place in Chaihana, but it can also take place at the home as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very good point. I wanted to mention that, you know, it's a trust we gap. In America, you get a loan from the bank, right? You, you get the loan and you have to pay that, you know, on time. So GAP is a nice way now introduced in Uzbekis, not only for men, but women. So they get together. It's the time to be together, eat food. They can go to the restaurant or they can meet at their houses, but they give money each month for one person and they alternate. Each person will get that money back. So basically it's kind of like giving a loan and getting it back at the end, but it's a good help to help each other. For example, if I am doing a wedding um, and I need money urgently, right? My friends can get together and help me to collect that money I have. If I have, for example, I'm doing $1,000 for one time to collect from each person. Guess what? From one gap, I can have $10,000 if I have 10, 10 friends, right? So this is a kind of a get, get great way culturally to support and uh, you know, do events. Okay, good. Juda Hamiyasha. Anyone else? Whom did we miss? Who didn't say anything about our like, Evelyn? I think or Dunya. Yes, Dunya. Please. Um, men Uzbekistan da bulma bulmaganda no uh, bulmagan man. But I've been to Kazakhstan, and so when I was in Kazakhstan, um, I met people from Uzbekistan, and they're like, "Oh, you got to come here too." And then I came back home. And then it seemed like everybody was talking about Uzbekistan, and I have no idea <laughs> why. Um, I kept it's like out of nowhere. I started meeting people from Uzbekistan, and I have American friends and uh, a couple of Ameri American friends in New York who are learning. Um, and but I like the clothes, the food. Um, the people are very hospitable. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I've been listening to music on YouTube and some of the songs have the lyrics on the screen. So that's kind of cool. I can read along. I have no idea what I'm saying, but I can look at it. I hope you can visit and see Uzbekistan. Okay, I think somebody else wanted to say something. Evelyn? Oh, Zach, yes, go ahead, please. Um, I, of course, don't know any Uzbek, except what I just said earlier, but um, uh, I've not been there. Um, I don't, you're, you're the first people I've met from Uzbekistan. Um, uh, I, uh, I know a little bit of the history, um, uh, Samarkand and uh, Bukhara and all that, Silk Road kind of things. Um, what? Uh, I've had, um, oh, uh, when I hear about it, I think one time I had uh, Bukharan Jewish food at a restaurant in New York City. It was very good. Um, this was years ago. Um, so I uh, am interested in it. It's a place, a uh, part of the world I don't know anything about or uh, very little about. Um, and I like to broaden my horizons. And so I just thought I would give this a try. So 
Excellent. You, you all seem very nice, so thank I'm you glad so I did. Much. Thank you. And men juda ham xursandman chunki siz bizning universitetdan qatnashyapsiz. You're from the University of Wyoming that makes me very happy. So, Zach, since you know uh, you're in the religious department and you probably want to learn more about the history, the University of Wyoming has bought many books that translated into English. Um, and we have really great documentaries about Uzbekistan. So if you are Jim, probably, and you can access because you are the University of Wyoming, um, you know, affiliated people. So feel free to watch beautiful videos, beautiful history. You can learn more about it. Okay. So I wanted to also mention to all of you that in one hour, we're unable to learn the Uzbek language or any language once a week to learn the language is not enough. That's why um, I encourage you and I would love to provide resources about the Uzbek language. Feel free to use them and learn on your own. But again, we don't have much um, on the internet. Whatever I feel is the right resource and um, true resource I can share. In the meantime, please watch my videos, learn Uzbek with the Naza on YouTube. I created because of you all, because I know that in one hour we cannot cover everything and it's impossible for me to do exercises and um, test you, but this is a great way to learn and keep up and feel free to reach out people from Uzbekistan or join Facebook pages where you can share even in English, but people will be so happy to talk to you. Okay, Evelyn, uh, sis, kapar what can you what can you share? Oh, the Bulgarian Um, sorry, say again. Sis, Uzbekistan the Bulgarian Oh, what does it mean? Uh, have you been to Uzbekistan? Mm, yes. Uh huh. Qayer the Bulgarian sis? Uzbekistan in Qayer the Bulgarian sis? Where have you been to? This city. Uh, Tashkent. Uh, Bukhara mm -hmm. and Samarkand. Samarkand. Mm -hmm. Siz ge Samarkand, Bukhara, Tashkent yoktu mu? Siz ge mm -hmm. yoktu mu? Jida ham yaxshi. Jida ham yaxshi. You can say in English, <laughs> what is one thing that makes you smile when you hear or think um, about Uzbekistan, Uzbeks and the Uzbek language? Oh, I answered that one. Oh, I said to people and yeah, and I spoke about Susanna. <laughs> oh, Susanna. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's okay. So good. Um, so look at this wonderful picture and imagine you're in Uzbekistan. So this is the door and uh, just a very unique place. I love when I, every time when I go to Uzbekistan, I cannot skip not going to Samarkand and Bukhara. And um, if I'm able, I go to Hiva. The reason for that there are little uh, spiritual things for me. I love visiting and, um, you know, spiritually cleanse myself, meditate there because it's a good way. It gives me an energy for the whole year or two years being in the United States. So I encourage you to go those places, explore more. It's not a one day visit. You would, you want to go and explore and read and learn and touch and see and eat and speak with Uzbek people, okay? So bread, non biz uchun juda ham qadrli. Biz Uzbekistonda nonni juda ham yaxshi ko'ramiz. Non odatda birinchi narsa bo'ladi. When we try to have guests in our house, we always bring hot bread. This is something that is very important and true to us that we share bread. It's not your lunch, it's not your dinner, it's it's not your appetizer, but it's just something that we, we it just it's just so different. It's not like in the United States. And dry fruits, yeah, dry fruits. If you um, read a lot about Asian scientists like uh, Avicenna, Abu Ali Ben Sina, va boshqa olimlar haqida o'qigan bo'lsangiz, ular sizlarga Kurtilgan mevalar va ularning foydali tomonlarini aytib o'tishadi. Dry fruits are very helpful and probably that's why most people in Uzbekistan feel healthy because they eat, for example, kurtilgan urik, juda ham, yurakka davo va men jim bilan 
since Jim lives in Laramie, I shared with Jim Urik, right? Qurtilgan Urik. Qurtilgan. Aha, Qurtilgan Urik tan nima qildingiz, Jim? Siz Qurtilgan Urikni nima qildingiz? Um Urtik Choyga um Olden. Mhm, Va sharbat qilib ichdingiz, to'g'rimi? Qurtilgan o'rikdan sharbat, sharbat qildingiz. We had a guest speaker last semester who talked about sharbat, which is a very good um, kind of a drink, like, you know, um, liquid that you can drink. It's very healthy and it's very juda ham foydali. Juda ham foydali. Urik sharbati yurakka davo deyiladi. Okay, good. Now, um, with that, we finished our language language part. Thank you so much. Katta Rahmat, uzingizni tanishtirganingiz uchun for introducing yourselves. So now I would like to talk about the cultural um, aspect of the Uzbek language. And with that, I would like to talk about the Uzbek language today. So the Uzbek language is from the Karluk branch of the Turkic languages. I want to make sure that, um, you know, when I say Turkic, it's a Turkic language family. It's not Turkish. Turkic language is from Turkey. But we use Turkic. Uzbek language comes from the Turkic family language. That's why we have Turkish language. We have Uyghur language, which is Uyghur, right? In part of um, China, Uyghur people, Uyghurlar, we call them Uyghurlar. Kazakh people from Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, Dan. Tatar, Tatarlar, Tatarlar, Russia, uh, Tatarstan, um, they also, if you know Uzbek, you probably will understand some Tatar words. And Kyrgyz, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyz language also um, similar to, it comes from Turkic language and also similar to Uzbek language. And just kind of to remind you, for those of you who have never studied Uzbek language, it's agglutinative language. What it means that we just like glue, glue each, morpheme or suffix to the word or verb or the noun, okay? It's, it's very fun, because like you can see, men, Uzbekistan, dan, man. Your Uzbekistan as the country, and then dan, man. We are gluing, we're putting them together. Can you see that? Dan, man. It means I am from Uzbekistan. Your M, I am, and your from is put together at the end of your verb. Or in English, you can say, I am from Uzbekistan. The reason why I'm talking about that, I'm going to bring a couple of facts, okay? So, Tur Turkey, Turk, I made a mistake here. Turk or Chagatay, we say Chagatay. Um, literary language was used by Timurids, and you probably have heard about Amr Timur, right, Tamerlan and his history. Mm -hmm. So they use the Turkic and Chagatay literary language. But the first person, first poet who used um, Turkic language as a literary language was Mur Alishir Navoyi. Alishir Navoyi. Va Alishir Navoyi Judaham Bizuchun Kadrli in Sonder. Alishir Navoyi. Biz Alishir Navoyine Maktab Paitadan Organamas and Alishir Navoyi Hakada Biz Maktab Dan Organamas. We study about him from the school. I started learning about Alishir Navoyi when I was in my third grade. I learned all his ghazals, right? He wrote, we'll talk about his poems, ghazal, devons. So Alishir Navoyi, if you really want to learn closely about his um, biography, you can read where, you know, uh, about his life um, and then what he did. But I just wanted, because of the time, I wanted to mention his very, very famous Devons and also his work. So one of them is uh, Wonders of Childhood. So you can take a look. I think a couple of books I found on Amazon. You're welcome to um, order and read, but very beautiful you know, like um, different devons were written by Alishir Navoyi. 
benefits of old age, for example. And his famous, famous, you know, work is Farhat Vashiran. Farhat Vashiran, Laila Va Majnun. He, if you look at Alishir Nawai's poems and his work, you will see he really dedicated his, uh, you know, poems to love, the expression of love, you know, when you read, you feel how much he was passionate, you know, and he uh, talks about the beauty of love in his ghazals, okay? So, Ali Shir Navoi's other important works, of course, include here um, Hamsa, you know, Hamsa. If you, uh, I don't know, did you know about anything about Hamsa? Who knows? No? Nope. So Hamsa is kind of a poem too, but as you can see, um, it's, it, it's written in, a, uh, in lines. We count them in lines, a, a, b, or like b, b, c. So it's like more in the verses like lines, verses like lines it's written, but it's, it's in general, it's a poem, which is composed of five epic poems, okay? Hamsa was, is composed of five epic poems. And it's kind of very, like, you know, um, interesting to read and understand. You may not be recognized Uzbek words when you're reading Hamsa, but definitely you can, you know, um, get some explanations in Uzbek. We have wonderful professors in Uzbekistan, uh, like Milli University or some other universities in Tashkent and in Uzbekistan. They uh, explore Alishir Nawai's work and they actually comment on his work in Uzbek. So, as I said, Farhot Vashirin, one of the Hamsas, Laila Vamajnun, Sabai Sayyar. This is this was my favorite, favorite one at school. Um, my teacher Sayora Akbarovna, who was in her seventies, uh, passed away, but she was amazing reading in Turkic and then reading to us in Uzbek about the seven planets of the world. It was just amazing. You can see how not only he wrote poem, right? But he explains as a scientist and, and he talks about it at that time. It's very impressive. And um, Sadi Skanderi, Alexander's Wall. I really um, recommend if you have time, at least, you know, to get to know and maybe just read the description and see if you will be interested, but it's a very beautiful way to get to know the Uzbek culture and also, you know, read about um, his Hamsas. I wanted to share, uh, Gunai, with your permission, is that okay? Sure, I bet that. Uh -huh. Gunai, Alishir Navoyini, Ghazalini, Uqadilar, Vasizlar Blan, Buna, Bolish Mokchidam. Um, Gunay, Alishir Navoy Hakada Brar Narsa Blasizma. Let's begin before we start. Uh, ha, uh, man, uh, on a Hamsa Hakada Billiardin, uh, says I think is Father Man Ham on an Unun Gazalari Hakada Eshit Kandan. Judah Hami Asha. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Mim Gunay Ahunzada, my Virginia state of Dunman. Her kim den de richinda dono lik erur, il mila ish anga majlis oro lik erur, o yini taham mulda tawano lik erur, yuk check mag willak shiga si bolik erur. Jida ham yaksha. Gunay, sis chunding gizma. Alishir Navoyini sözlərini düşündüyünüz mü? Nümalar düşündüyünüz? Um, yok, uh, əsli də yok. Çünki o cüda uh, old words. Uh, Turkey? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, that's I couldn't. Okay, so... Let's let's take a look. Uh, I'm I'm glad that you typed the words. Wait, 
Har kim bin dakhir içinde danalik erur. What is dana? Danalik. Dana. You know that from last class? Aha. Jim? Bilasız mı? Wise. Danalik. Wisdom. 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 To be wise. Cüda ham yakşı. Har kim bin dakhir içinde danalik erur. Har kim bin here it's a very old it's not an uzbek we don't say we, if you go to uzbekistan nobody will say har kimdin so it's more in poems you probably will hear it means every or like any person or every person yep jim mm -hmm. dakhir ichinda donolik erur probably every person or everyone has some or wisdom wisdom mm -hmm. juda ham yaxshi donolik erur Okay, you know a couple of words from here. Okay. Ilm. What is ilm? Like knowledge or science. Or yep, exactly. Ilm ila. Ila is also one of the old words that use Alishir Nawai and other poets use a lot in their, um, you know, poems. We don't use it in Uzbek language either, but ish anga majlisaralik erur. What do you think it, it is? I'll be honest, I cannot translate into directly Uzbek, but I know the meaning. <laughs> so, knowledge and words were. But the knowledge, uh huh. And works. Uh -huh. So if every person has a little tiny or like, you know, that kind of type of wisdom, then the knowledge, what will knowledge do? If you keep learning what he's saying, basically, if you keep learning about, you know, bringing the knowledge, keep learning, you will get to that wisdom. You know what I mean? So this is more like very um, important with his words. He's talking about the wisdom, how important it is you know, uh, to learn something. Because when we learn, we get to know more things, right? But I would like to read, uh, maybe recite the poem of Alishir Navai that I uh, learned when I was um, 13 or 14 years old, okay? So how many years now? 20, 25, 20 years. So let me see if I remember still, okay? Kecha kelgumdir debon ulsar va gulro kelmadi ko'zlarimda kecha tong otguncha uyqu kelmadi lahza lahza chiqdim u chektim yo'lida intizor keldi jon og'zimga yu ul shu xibat xu kelmadi so this is a very <laughs> thank you so much i was a little bit nervous <laughs> i'll tell you tr the truth because uh, when i was learning this poem as i told you my teacher was very strict she wanted us not only to just recite the poems, but understand and use the old Turkic language. And I am so thankful. If not those teachers, I wouldn't be today here and teaching you Uzbek language. Um, you know, I think I told you all that I was born in Russia and I did my degrees in Russia, but I think my heart belongs to Uzbekistan. I, I just, I cannot describe so much how much I love and how much I learned when I was in school that Mihr. You know, what is mihar? Who knows the word mihar? Mihar? Love. Mm -mm, mihar. Thank you. It's, sure. it's close to love. I like. Mihar. Uh -huh. Mihar. We say mihar muhabbat. Mihar muhabbat. Mihar. Kindness. Like so kindness. much kindness. Yeah. Like that love from the teachers I got, I haven't gotten from anywhere else. And that, I think that gave me that passion to um, read novels, you know, to learn about them. But I want to tell you about Alishir Nawai. Um, so Alishir Nawai, the poem that I just, Ghazal, I read Ghazal for you, Kichikil Gumdar Deban, it's just called just like that, Kichikil Gumdar Deban. Um, he talks about the woman, you know, how um, he was waiting and he wanted to meet and how much he had loved to her. But at the end, he says, Ulshu, uh, we don't use bat <laughs> but basically what he's saying is he, she didn't show up 
The poor guy was waiting and waiting for her. He even saw her in his dream. He loved her so much, but he, she didn't show up. She, she didn't show up. So Ali Shir Navoi had this, you know, he loved so much. He had passion. And he somehow, maybe because of that lady, he became a powerful or maybe very important poet because it motivated him to write about more about the love. You know, all his, if you read about Farhat Vashir and it's about love, Laila Majnun, it's about love, you know, and all his ghazals, um, you can feel there is something so much like, you know, pain, pain. So you can feel that. So I hope, um, you enjoyed listening. There are lots of other ghazals and you know poems and hamsas, devans by Ali Shir Nawai. He wrote lots of lots of poems. You, you know, it's like even impossible to count. I know that there are some numbers, but again, we don't know because uh, all the information that comes, uh, you know, we, they just wrote it. But I'm sure that he he did so much work. You know, he was very dedicated, uh, talented poet and also scientist. And in Uzbekistan, I just wanted to let you know that we have Ali Shir Navoi Bikate. We have a subway and we have Ali Shir Navoi Bikate. If you've ever uh, been to Uzbekistan, you've probably seen his beautiful picture. It's, it's something I always remember about Ali Shir Navoi, uh, his ghazals when I'm in the metro. And I use metro, I encourage you to use because um, I think uh, Uzbek metro is one of the beautiful, I, I, I'm not even scared to say that it's one of the beautiful uh, you know, metro subways, because they, they show you that, you know, calligraphy, like it's a beautiful, beautiful, um, I don't know how, <laughs> what is that? In the metro, we have pictures. Like mo mosaics. Mosaic, yes, mosaic, yeah. yes, all those things, they're very beautiful. Va Uzbekistan de biz Ali Shir Navoi ge atalgan parklarimiz ham bor. Ali Shir Navoi nomi ge he is so much famous. Let me show you. I pulled up um, his wonderful pictures from Uzbekistan so that you can see. I just want to tell you how much we love him and how much we are thankful to him that we um, named the parks and uh, for example, this is the Alishir Navoi National Park. Um, I love how he, you know, he holds his hasta and the book, uh, like as a poet, you know, um, it's, it's something important, you know, I always, when I see, I remember that you have to keep learning, you know, you have to learn. Um, you don't stop in one place when you learn something and that's it. You just have to learn, keep learning and you can see closer page. I didn't take from Google. So I just wanted to show you. I'm not, I don't want to take his pictures, but um, here is Ali Shir Navoi. Uh, I see the, U, the University of Wyoming page. I don't see a picture of Ali Shir Navoi. Oh, are you sure? Okay, one second, I'm sorry. How about now? There we go. Okay, I'm sorry. I was, let's keep talking and looking at Shir Nawai. Yeah, I didn't take his pictures because it's not my pictures. I don't like taking from Google. So copy for copyright reasons, but I want to show you from Google. Ali Shir Nawai Park, Park Lara, Judaham Kopyoshlar, Uyerge Borashada. I'm not sure that they read his poems when they go to Alishir Nawai Park, but still <laughs> they enjoy. And uh, most of the events, even the president holds um, events in Alishir Nawai Park. So with that, I wanna um, give the floor to Mr. Ahrar. He will talk about the event that will happen on Tuesday. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving me the floor. Um, this coming Tuesday on February 9th, we are planning to hold, uh, we are actually, we are holding an event uh, celebrating the 58th anniversary of Alishir Nawai in the US. And it's going to start at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So it's going, it's going to be about like 8 a.m. in mountain time, if I'm not mistaken. So um, we are expecting it to be very interesting uh, in a sense that um, most American scholars will be sharing their knowledge, their expertise on, the, on their scholarly works regarding the, uh, learning Alishir Nawai's uh, life 
and his poetry, and also the value of his work into uh, the civilization of those times and uh, current time. Uh, we, it will, we will be joined by um, Dr. Frederick Starr, Dr. Scott Levi, the, the translator of uh, Abdullah Qadri's, by Gandhi's, Mark Rees. We will be also joined by uh, Congress, uh, the representative of the Library of Congress, John Biggs, who, uh, who will be talking about the great collection of Ali Shernoi's original works kept in uh, US Congress Library. Also, uh, we were, uh, the poet, the uh, English poet, Henry Sandland, uh, who wrote his poems, um, uh, poems after reading Nawais Ghazals, will be sharing some of his uh, own poems. He will read, we will be also followed by a musical performance. Uh, we have uh, the groups from Uzbekistan, one of the most talented groups uh, will be joined and uh, maybe uh, the, the Naza knows uh, we have a uh, world known uh, musician, Abdul Hashem Ismailov. He will be performing on our event and uh, it will take about a one hour, 10, 20 minutes, not more, but it will be very interesting for those uh, who are interested in Uzbekistan, our culture, art, um, literature. So I would uh, greatly encourage you if you have time, if a possibility. To join the event, you can just um, enter the. You can just uh, put the link, uh, Zoom link that I have sent also today earlier. Um, you can just push it, go to the registration, and join. It will be in the format of webinar. Also, we will have uh, it live uh, broadcasted on our uh, Facebook page. And if you will have any questions uh, after the event or during the event, you can just write uh, uh, there. I will be moderating the event on a backstage and I will be addressing to uh, the representatives that can, that can give proper answers. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Let's give a floor to uh, like, you know, the... Um, Rahmat, Rahmat Aitamas, Mr. Rahro, Rahro, Katnashkan Laruchun, Albata, Alishir Navoi, Bayram Larmish, Triot, Kanik Laruchun, Ustashakurum is Nebel Dramas, Larsam's Gokushulian in Gizuchun Rahmat, Kotakon. He always supports our events, and those of you probably remember we had our the Uzbek Language Day in October. He was also our um, speaker and guest, so we really appreciate that. And I'm sure our students enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed the first part, um, speaking in Uzbek. Now you can say and be proud that you spoke. You introduced yourself in Uzbek, and very importantly, you learned about Ali Sher Navoi's legacy. Of course, we didn't touch about his biography, we didn't talk about much, but I just wanted to introduce and talk about so that you are going to look for him. There are lots of websites, even in Uzbek right now, they were built by Zia Uz, some other places. Feel free to watch YouTube videos about his life. Um, and if you are interested more to learn about Alishir Nawai, please send me email and I will um, guide you toward the right resources, okay? So with that, I'll see you all next week and let's try to read his couple of ghazals during our next, next classes. Does it sound good? Good, excellent. Dars Uchun Rahmat, Mana, what Mr. Akhrar was talking about, here is the Zoom link, but I will share with you all via email again. So feel free to come. It will be a mountain time, it will be 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, it will be 10 a.m. And if you are in California, some other places, you should be probably watching your time. And Ryan, it will be for you the night if you are in Kyrgyzstan. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's Uchun Rahmat, Hushkelep says. Hello, many civil and board. I had a question about the, uh, your message to me the other day about the poem. Oh, poem, yes, yes. Um, um, mm -hmm. So just in front of the flag, like last time? If you want, yeah, this is the question to Mr. Ahrar. He's the one who oh. asked. <laughs> Mr. Ahra, where do you want him to read the poem? Um, we can we, we can uh, we can record it as uh, as it is now. If, would you like if... to read it for us? Oh, Jim, that would be awesome. Can oh, you read it for that'd us? That'd be fine. Uh, I, I also wanted to ask if I 
if I could do a slightly different poem from the one you had suggested. Okay. This, uh, sure. Let's go ahead read and read it here. now. Okay. Yeah, you can read it now okay. and then let's do another one too. So, and we will pick. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, since uh, Kunglum da Okung Surtub is a Kondin Angya, Pai Masalik Chirmaraimen Rishtain Jondin Angya, Boydai Laling Mizoji Ruch Parvar Dur Base, Guyo Mamzuj Etibsen Obi Kaivondin Angya. Oki kunglum shulasen ga sokien ette gortes ga otun bolde ga su orde baikondin angia dardu ram bostonning tovus sedir konglum kushe gul bulup jismim da keskan Nal har yondin angya. Ne kabutar eta ne kabutar eta olur ul kuyoshka nenasim e kungul holingni elom aila afgondin angya. Kozgia to kermish hayoling sovu ohim. Wachtmedin, Bogla Meshmen, Gurio, Harsari, Mujgondin, Angia. E Navoi, Igla Mok, Ohim Gia, Taskin, Bermade, Wa Bune, Otdurke, Yok Tasir, Tufondin, Angia. To the Hamyasha, Barakella, Barakella. Beautiful. So yeah. can you tell us what Hazal was that? Can you tell us what Hazal was that and the number? Uh, um, six. Um, mm -hmm. If your arrow breaks in my soul. Sinsa kunglumda okung. Sinsa kunglumda okung. Judaham yasha. Ali shir navoini hazal laradan. Yes, judaham yasha. And then you have your English translation. Can you tell us what did you, what is the poem about? Um, I, I didn't understand it very well, mm -hmm. so I, I understood it from the English translation. So uh, it's about somebody's arrow breaking my soul, and uh, apparently, I this person is very important to me. Um, Neither dove nor wind to that beloved sun can reach. So um, mm -hmm. it's all about this person in my soul. Exactly. That's what I was talking about. You see, the love, he is, I, I'm, I mean, I'll be honest, we don't have much Arishir Navois in the current day. I wish we had. <laughs> I would be so honored to have um, Arishir Navoi as one of the men. Uh, because he is, he is so much, you know, dedicated, and I think it, it hurt him so much that he talked, but he also talked about the truth, you know, I want to read a little uh, short poem of him, Kim ki aashiq bolsa, kim ki aashiq bolsa zaru hasta hal olmaq kerak, rashk din aalam ilige bat hayal olmaq kerak, basil tapmaglik na ishq akhlga amredur mahal, Kichavu kundus ishe, shkrimuhal ul moh kerak, shafk ara, gahmoidin bul moh kerak, andaki moi, hajir ara, gahna no ladin, andokan nol ul moh kerak, vasil mumkin yok, vale, hijronda, hardam yus bala, mundak ofat, muktalase, mahusul ul moh kerak, ish kuide zulalu. Vasil ich maidur kishi, dair sare, talibe, jomu zulol, ul mokirak, zulum kurkim, charh etip, ikis pahne, kinavar, murlar haile, aroda, koimol, ul mokirak, e navoi, istasang, mahlas, kudrating sange, hona kahdin dair sare, 
intiqal olmak gerek. This is Gharaib al sigir It's his ghazal. 333. You look for his book. I think it's from Mr. Um, Ahrar. He sent it to us, shared with us, which is wonderful. So you see, uh, he also talks about the love, how it's hard. Do you remember, like, you know, if you translate it in the current world, we say, think about the love. I mean, uh, if you love somebody, you want to see them, you miss them, you either dream about them, right? This is all his words. He's talking about that, how it's so hard. You think you're dying without that person, right? Olmok kirak, olmok, olmok means to die. <laughs> exactly. There were a lot of olmok kirak. Al-Makrak, <laughs> yes. Um, so that's what he talks about. He talks about the reality. He says, you know, that's what you feel. And I think it's very good to introduce those poems, ghazals, even um, in schools, because that's what we explain, you know, talk, talking about the feelings and what happens to people, you know, it's very important. So thank you so much for sharing. And yeah, so Evelyn and... Um, Elise, if you would like to read and record yourself, you're welcome. Please send us. It would be very good just to read even his poems. It would be fun. Okay. Rahmat, Sizga, Katta Rahmat, Okayan, Ingezichun.